Good morning. My name is Jeffrey Maisel, and we are thrilled this morning to be with mayoral candidate Eric Adams. And you could see from his background that is not virtual. He's a very hardworking man and a very busy man these days. And, and we thank you for joining us. I'm a co-op attorney and a legal advisor to the president's Co-op Condo Council, an advocacy organization whose members represent over 100,000 residents in New York City. It has been estimated that over a million New Yorkers live in a co-op and condo. We have a few questions for you that are of interest to these folks. First question, the burning question that everyone wants to know in our community. Have you ever lived in a co-op? Have you ever served on a board of directors? Uh, yes, uh, I have been on the co-op board and I have lived in a co-op and actually the foundation of who I am today, believe it or not, is because of a co-op. I was able to save enough money. I was able to uh, really invest. It helped me so much. My first co-op on Prospect Place. I remember the address, 425 Prospect Place. Oh, I, I, I used to represent them. I know the building. <laughs> I know exactly where that is. Small yeah. world. And you, know so, what's, you know what's interesting is that that building became an anchor for the revitalization of that entire area. It was hardworking, middle class, uh, Brooklynites and New Yorkers. And, you know, just it was, it dealt with block association meetings. And so it really became an anchor. Our co-ops are the anchors and condos are the anchors of the city. I, I agree with you on that. Uh, next question. Um, as mayor, you'll inherit a city that is on the leading edge of climate mobilization. Um, but as we all know, it's an expensive proposition. Co-op and condos uh, are specifically included in the Climate Mobilization Act, while other forms of housing, including rental and NYCHA housing, is not included. Um, and co-op and condos need help to meet these ambitious carbon neutrality goals. What ideas do you have with respect to this end? You know, we, we are awful, uh, we are often thoughtful around uh, you know, families, one, two family houses and helping them with re rebates, abatements, and all sorts of ways to really help compensate uh, for what we ask and the mandates we hand down. We rarely do it for our co-ops and condominiums. We need to rethink that. As I stated, a uh, city have been impacted disproportionately throughout the years. There should be funds set aside uh, to help with some of these mandates that are being handed down with our co-ops and, and condominiums. Uh, I am open to doing that, coming up with clear ways. It's a win-win. We're asking you to retrofit your buildings, deal with carbon emission. It's good for our environment. Then we should assist in the process of doing so, so we don't have an overburden of you know unfunded mandate. Okay. Um... And as you, I'm sure you're aware, for decades, co-ops and condos have asked for the same treatment, tax treatment as other homeowners. Uh, New York City has the tax commission that is reviewing and has come up with suggestions. How will you as mayor address the issue of property tax reform? Listen, uh, in this space, uh, I am not the choir. I help write the song. I met with Martha Starks uh, during the time she was going to put in this uh, is called to reform our unfair tax laws. Uh, I was going to do an amicus court, court brief, but because I was an elected, I was not allowed to do so because my home in Bedford-Stuyvesant is impacted by these uh, unfair tax laws. I'm happy the lawsuit was put in place with Judge uh, uh, Lipman and Martha Starks, the uh, former finance chair. Uh, what I am looking forward to do, do, I was hoping that they would hand down a mandate to the city, but they didn't. This is going to fall in the lap of the next mayor. I'm going to immediately put in place a non, a binding uh, committee to look at these uh, tax laws and come up with real solutions to alleviate co-ops, condominiums, and many of the uh, property owners in poorer communities. Uh, billionaires are not paying their share of taxes, and we this is an unfair system, and we're going to fairly look at it Within the first year, we're going to come up with a real res resolution to finally resolve this issue. And, and hopefully any committee form will have representation from the co-op condo community because the 
current commission that Mr. de Blasio put together did not have any representation from the club condo community. That's what, I, Unacceptable. It, I, that's what we said. Okay, board, uh, again, we're speaking about unfunded mandates in addition to the Crime and Mobilization Act. Uh, a large part of COP and condo budgets go to building facade maintenance, elevator control upgrades, fire safety, energy benchmarking, signage, et cetera. These are costly uh, and competing requirements that have a significant impact on the cost of maintaining buildings. What will you do as mayor to help meet these multiple requirements and which mandates are particularly important to you and, and would you pursue? Well, you have, to, you have to always look at safety. Safety is cru crucial. Uh, you want a safe building. And I believe you're seeing a lot of these mandates uh, because uh, many people who are handing them down uh, never really sat on a co-op board, uh, never really uh, saw the balance of making sure a maintenance uh, or common cause uh, held down so that you can keep the lights on. But I know it too well. As I stated, uh, this is how I started out the foundation of my living arrangements. And so I'm going to continue as the mayor of the city, uh, we're going to use of uh, real funds and say, as we hand down these mandates, how do we also help really supplement the cost to carrying out these man mandates? You know, these repairs are uh, sometimes insurmountable for uh, the co-ops and the condos throughout the city. We're not doing our share as a city uh, to help those who have stabilized this entire uh, city of New York. And so the goal is, is to look at you know, everything from elevator repairs, mandates around um, how you're repairing, uh, retrofitting, all of these areas, I believe is crucial uh, that we play a role of using grants and funding coming from the city and leveraging the state uh, to assist us in taking a part of the course that we are handing down to the co-ops and condominiums in the city. Okay, last question. Uh, it's a little open-ended, so feel free to embellish. Yeah. Anything you would like to say to the uh, uh, 1 million uh, co -op condo residents in the city of New, of New York, and hopefully several, many thousands of them will be watching this video at some point in time? Yes, uh, the prerequisite to prosperity is public safety and justice. I'm, I am clear on that. Uh, for 22 years, I, I wore a bulletproof vest and stood on the street corners uh, protecting children and families. And I'm watching the city that I loved and I turned around as a law enforcement officer. I'm watching that city slowly lose the quality of life that we have uh, fought so hard uh, to gain. And when you go to sell your co-op or condominium, there are two questions people ask for the most part. How good are the schools? How safe is the area? If we have an unsafe city, it is going to not only impact on your physical being and the quality of life, but it's actually going to impact on uh, your property value. I'm going to make sure our city does not go backwards. I'm going to make sure that you don't see uh, the uh, per, the, per, per, the the complete overrun of homelessness, dirty streets, uh, the lack of city services, and align our agencies to function instead of being dysfunctional. Uh, this is an important time for me, and this is an, an important time for so many New Yorkers. We're going through a difficult moment. We've been there before. We've turned around the city then, and we're going to turn around it now. Trust me, in two years, you're going to see a different city that's going to improve the quality of life that we expect in this city. Thank you so much for having me on. Thank you, sir.